नमस्ते गुरु कुलियंस हाउ आर यू होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर हेल्दी फिट एंड फाइन राइट सो टुडे वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इन आर चैनल द गुरु को लीलो खेड़ी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू चैप्टर नंबर थ्री ऑफ योर बुक फ्लैमिंगो क्लियर दिस इज द बुक बॉयज प्लीज टेक केयर पे अटेंशन रिसेंटली वी हैव फिनिश्ड चैप्टर नंबर टू ऑफ योर अदर बुक सप्लीमेंट्री विस्टास बुक द टाइगर किंग and after that i have come back once again to this book flamingo we will do one thing one chapter from this this book and one chapter we will take from another book clear so smoothly the syllabus will be running and uh, one more thing please kindly start asking your queries i'm not getting the queries of maxim students you can uh, you all of you are having my contact numbers if you do not have you can uh, call in the office and get your number added as early as possible in the group so that the queries can be taken easily clear so without the waste of time i am going to start the chapter deep water it's chapter number 3 this is deep water written by william o douglas clear deep water is one of the best creations thrown up by william o douglas william o douglas he was an american uh, jurist an american writer as well as uh he was a politician who had served his 40 years services um in the guidelines of the president franklin d roosevelt who later on had recommended his name as a chief jurist in american high court clear he was a close friend of uh, franklin d roosevelt and uh, even he had he has given his uh, great contribution in the field of english literature he was born on 16th october 1898 in america and he died on 19th january 1980 clear please pay attention boys he was born on 16th october 1898 and he died on 19th january 1980 clear all of you so during this period i told you that he was a politician in politics he had given his so many years number 2 uh, he has given he had given his services as a chief justice in supreme court sorry in high court of america and uh, he was overall a writer as well as so this is one of the best creativities actually this is not the a uh, special creativity i want to clear one thing deep water it is the it is a short excerpt e x c e r t t excerpt means part it is a short excerpt from douglas famous book famous book which book of men and mountains okay william douglas has written a book of men in mountain and cbsc board has taken one of the major portions of this book of men in mountains and the title has been given to this part in the form of deep water actually boys please pay attention this is a this is like an autobiography of william douglas has been given about his own personal life clear so in this chapter today we will come to know that uh, how did he overcome his fear of water yes fear of water before i start the chapter i want to throw a light uh, on the significance of the title deep water what does it mean as you know very well literal translation if we are going to do deep means hindi translation gehra water means pani it means gehra pani clear yes it relates to water so many water sports are there uh, just like river sea water waterfall cape and so many other swimming pool etc clear yes it relates to all of them in this excerpt in this story mr william douglas he has beautifully depicted about uh, the the fear of his uh, childhood days he has described once when he was at the age of 2 or 3 years old 
when he was at, at, at the age of uh, three or four maximum when he was at the age of three and four years old he used to go to a sea beach with his father clear please pay attention once again i'm telling you when william douglas he was merely at the age of three or four years old a very small boy clear up to this height three and four years old children you might have seen once you would be uh, you were three and four years uh, old boy you might have stayed at that time so you can imagine so when he was at the age of merely three and four years old his father used to take him every day to sea beach in california in america clear so there he his father he used to pedal on the sea beach he used to roam on the sea beach one day when william douglas he was clinging back to his father clinging back means that when he was uh, riding on the back of his father so at that time suddenly a strong wave it came suddenly and the boy he was misbalanced and he released the grip of his hands and he fell down when he fell down the water swept over him the boy william douglas almost almost he had lost his breath he was about to die he was panic but his father was laughing but anyhow his father picked the boy into his arm he consoled him then after some time he was taken back to home with by his father clear so this was the first incident he had described after this incident william douglas the writer he started having an aversion of water a v e r s i o n aversion means hate he started having hate towards water he never liked any visit when uh, which he wanted to pay um, to river sea beach capes waterfall swimming pool or etc clear so he was having a fear of water deep fear great fear very terribly he was feared of water and uh, he never paid a visit to any of the water spots for next uh, approximately 7 and 8 years clear as i depicted that his age was merely 3 and 4 years old after 7 and 8 years his age was merely 11 years old clear so with the passage of time children with the passage of time when he started going to school in the school so many boys he found sitting on the benches along with him one by one all of them they started depicting they started telling to the writer about their swimming experiences maximum boys of his class they had joined the swim pool yes back maximum boys of william douglas class they had already joined the swimming pool and they started enjoying clear so when they were telling their experiences that today we have enjoyed dolphin backstroke butterfly okay inhale and exhale we had been playing and we enjoyed a lot so after all william douglas he was a human being automatically being a human he started developing a curiosity in his heart and mind that he wanted to join swimming pool so immediately he rushed back to his home asked his mother oh my dear mother i want to join swimming pool but his mother she got shocked she was surprised look child what happened to you and where would you like to join then he simply replied mother i want to join ymca pool it is y capital m capital c capital a capital ymca pool which was located on the bank of yakima river y a k i m e yakima was the treacherous river treacherous means very fast river for example in india there is the river the ganga okay the brahmaputra clear the flow of these river tremendously very fast okay so like the ganga the water level speed was tremendously very high uh, so ymca swimming pool was located on the bank of yakima river when the mother of william douglas she heard the name of yakima river she got panic oh my dear boy you don't know about it so many people they have lost their lives by drowning into the in the uh, river water and you you merely a boy and you just want to pay a visit to there how foolishly you are talking to me do you want to lose your life no i cannot allow you at that 
At that William Douglas, he replied, simply replied back to his mother, Oh my dear mother, please listen to me, have patience. I don't want to get entered into the river. I simply want to join YMCA pool. He said that the river was dangerous but the pool was safe. And you know very well boys, he means in front of the insist of the little children, the parents they have to get lenient. So mother, after a long discussion, she had permitted him, a swimming costume was purchased for him, clear? So the very next day, William Douglas, curiously, he went to YMCA pool. Uh, let me describe you uh, the means uh, how the pool was, clear? Suppose imagine this is the pool, okay, this, this has one ended, this is has an, a second ended. Up to here, the water level is up to 2 and 3 feet. The level, the deep, the depth of the water is up to 2 or 3 feet. And slowly, slowly it is increasing and up to the, this end, the water level was up to 9 feet. Clear? So, he kept himself only in the depth of 2 or 3 feet. Clear? So, by holding the railing which was on the boundary on the edge of the swimming pool, by holding the railing, he started jumping, he started paddling in the company of some other boys and, and under the observation of uh, some swimming coach were there. Clear? He started enjoying over there and uh, even he started sharing his experiences of uh, the swimming pool, clear? He was enjoying a lot. One day, please pay attention, this is the second incident. First incident, incident I told you that when he was at the age of 3 and 4 years old and he was, um, he was buried under the sea water, means when wave was coming and he got panic, clear the water swept over his body, this was, that was the first experience and this is the second experience one day. One day, William Douglas, he paid a visit to YMCA pool, clear? So at that time, nobody had paid till then. He was alone and silently he sat on the edge, A-D-G, edge means kinara, on the edge of swimming pool by wearing his swimming costume, clear? And he was waiting for some companion because he had a great fear of water. He did not, he dared not to get entered into the pool without having the company of some boys, clear? So, his body was very thin, okay, so he was very skinny, so suddenly after some time a strong physically chap, ch in chap means boy of your age, your age must be 15, 16, 17, so he was 16, 17, 18 years old by approximately this age bar, so he was physically strong and long heighted boy and he came over there and he asked in a comic style, hey skinny, what are you doing by sitting on the edge of the swimming pool? Why don't you get entered inside the pool? Then William Douglas very politely he replied, No, 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 no. I don't know how to swim. I will be drowned if I get entered inside. But the boy, he didn't listen to him and he picked, he picked the boy into his arm and tossed him, tossed means threw him and tossed him into the depth water where the level of the depth of water was 9 feet. Now the boy got panic. What would be the condition of the boy? Can you imagine at that time, the boy, he didn't know how to swim, but still he was in the pool, in the depth of water and nobody was there who could help him out. Now, the boy definitely, obviously, naturally he was panic, but he did not lose his courage. He did not lose his heart, clear? He made a strategy in his mind. He made a plan that he would go to the depth, he would go to the bottom as his feet would touch the bottom. Jab uske pair tal ko chuenge, bottom ko chuenge, he would summon his willpower. He would collect his willpower and would jump forcefully and would come on the surface of water like a cork, like a bullet. He made this plan, but the destination was not favoring him. The things were not him in his good deed. The things were going on worst in his case. Slowly, slowly he started moving towards the bottom and when he was moving, almost, almost he had lost all of his breath. And he could not collect his willpower when his feet touched the bottom. But even then, anyhow, he jumped himself. Slowly, slowly he started coming up on the surface. When he came on the surface, 
first of all his head came then forehead came then eyes came then nose came then mouth when his mouth came he tried to take breath in this way but in place of air water entered into his mouth and it choked his throat and he started coughing <coughs> in this way again his journey second journey started going towards the bottom this time he was almost almost tired exhausted but again he made his planning that this time he would jump himself and he was putting he was uh, putting his hands in this way throwing his hand and legs in order to find out any ladder any rope or any other helpful material with the help of that thing he could manage to come outside but nothing was there again he went to there when he went to the bottom almost almost he had lost his breath uh, the darkness swept over his his eyes he tried to open his eyes but only yellowish water yellowish water was coming into his eyes and he was li like a blind okay so now this time all of his hope had gone had been shattered and he surrendered himself before death he closed his eyes simply and by leaving his body in a restful way and he started thinking that death is the second mother the first mother who had given him birth and death is the second mother and he relaxed his his head was throbbing his legs were paralyzed okay his heartbeat was much increased so simply the deck darkness swept over before the eyes now this time he had given all of his hopes and released his body and surrendered before the death and after one and two second the boy went in unconsciousness means behosh ho gaya after some time when he opened his eyes he found himself that he was out of the pool and the same boy who had thrown him into the pool he was pulling his back to take water out of his stomach clear and uh, he was coughing and there was a gathering of some people and some of them were saying ki thank god the boy is safe he was almost almost tight and after the process of one one hour two hour william douglas could be able to go back to his home when he went back to his home okay he was staggering okay wobbly with wobbly legs ladkhadate hue tangon se but when he went to his home he didn't uh, take his dinner and moreover the next day he was suffering from high fever the fever um, swept over him for next three days then he went to the school and he started doing some introspection ki for how long he would be there under this fear the two incidents had seized him because of his uh, seized his uh, mind because of his fear of water now for how long he would be living with the existence of the fear in his heart and mind so finally he decided himself that he wanted to overcome the fear overcome means he wanted to win he wanted to get a victory over the fear so finally what did he do he hired an instructor h i r e d hired means uh, on money clear he hired an instructor who could teach him how to swim clear and the instructor he started teaching him first of all uh, a belt it tied round the waist of william douglas and there was a rope it was attached to it and the other corner of the rope was in the hands of the uh, swimmer sorry coach by crossing a pulley there was a pulley like a, uh, in in between the pool you can say that okay in order to cross it there was a small pulley and after crossing the pulley the other corner of the rope was in the hand of uh, the coach clear instructor so he started teaching douglas how to inhale and exhale and he told him first of all he start moving his hands and legs in this way at first william douglas had to face a lot of problem because after coming into the water number one old terror seized him number two he he felt his legs paralyzed usko lagta tha ki tange lakwa maar gayi but anyhow he had to manage until or unless he put his um, you know efforts he could not learn anything so he started moving his legs properly into the pool and uh, thereafter um, means daily pra he practiced himself one hour per day and after the practicing of few weeks then uh, the instructor he told he taught him how to inhale out of uh, the water how to exhale into the water okay then slowly slowly he started teaching him how to take lap then he when he started getting some perfection over it okay he started teaching him about the back strokes uh, the dolphin 
ओके बटरफ्लाई एंड सम अदर स्टॉक्स एंड स्लोली स्लोली आफ्टर द प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑफ सिक्स मंथ्स अप्रॉक्सीमेटली द इंस्ट्रक्टर मेक मेड डगलस अ परफेक्ट स्विमर द इंस्ट्रक्टर वॉज सेटिस्फाइड बट डगलस वॉज नॉट ही वॉन्टेड टू टेस्ट हिज पावर ही वॉन्टेड टू चेक हिमसेल्फ इन आइसोलेशन इन एलॉन सो After some days, he decided himself, he decided himself that he would pay a visit to Wentworth Lake. W e n t w o r t h Wentworth Lake. It was in New Hampshire. Clear? Wentworth Lake was there. Wentworth Lake in New Hampshire. there was a wentworth lake in new hampshire new hampshire is a city and it's the name of the lake clear he paid a visit to there it was located in the hilly area surrounded by some hills so he removed his clothes when he came on the bank clear he dived in between and started swimming when he came into the mid of the lake clear and he raised his head and started looking here and there the old terror he suddenly seized his mind but this time because of his will power he controlled his terror oh mr terror now let me tell you who i am and what i am you want you want to defeat me now i will defeat you i i want to overcome you and with this concept he continued his swimming and he swam across for 2 miles and came on the and came on another bank and he jumped heavily hurray i have won i have overcome my fear okay so in this way william douglas beautifully described that means how did he um, overcome his fear of water and two incidents he had described in which the water had terribly seized his brain clear he could never be able to pay a visit to any water spot but you know as big scholar has rightly said where there is a will there is a will jaha chaha waha raha clear so he because of his will power william douglas could be able to get a victory over his fear and he uh, got triumph over the fear and he overcame his fear and finally uh, he became a perfect swimmer and he enjoyed his life so this is overall and description i have given to all of you what is their uh, what is the content matter of the story clear the rest of all thing you will be getting by holding a book in your hands okay i'll be reading one by one so little bit portion we can cover up today itself and after that rest of all we'll study in the next part clear so about the author clear about the author what does he say William Douglas as i told you that he was born in 1898 and died in 1980 he was born in Maine Minnesota Minnesota it's a city in America after graduating from with a bachelor of arts in english he did his graduation in arts and economics he spent 2 years teaching high school in yakima he was a teacher as well as boys please underline it he was a teacher i told you that he was a politician he was a um, judge and uh, he was a writer but even he was a teacher as well clear however he got tired of this but very sh- for a sh- very short period because he got exhausted of his teaching and decided to pursue a legal career legal career means that he started moving towards the high court he met franklin d roosevelt at that time the president at yale yale it's a city name and became an advisor he became a legal advisor and a friend to president he was a close friend to the president and he was a legal advisor of him so douglas was a leading advocate of individual rights he got retired in 1975 with with a term lasting 36 years and remains the longest service justice in the history of the court means he had given the longest period of his time in the history of the court 36 years services he had given the following excerpt this excerpt this part short part deep water is taken from of men and mountain clear this is of men and mountain this is wonderful book he had written and deep water it is the part of this book clear it reveals how as young boy william douglas nearly drowned in a swimming pool it is showing you that means a boy a very cute boy william douglas he was almost almost drowned in the swimming pool in this essay in this chapter you can say he talks about his fear of water he describes his fear he describes his uh, you can say that ki 
he was he was having a aversion of water and thereafter how he finally overcame it how did he defeated how did he defeat it notice how the autobiographical part of the section is used to support his discussion of fear this is an autobiography of men and mountain in this description he is telling about his fear of water by telling the two horrified experiences of his life and it is showing as well as ki how did he overcome his fear clear only few lines i will be reading the rest of all i'll read in next part it had happened when i was 10 or 11 years old it means william douglas beautifully describes when william douglas was merely 10 or 11 years old clear the first experience which i told you when he was at the age of 3 and 4 years old this will come later on he will tell you in flashback clear but when he was he simply started it when he was 10 years 11 years old i had decided to learn to swim it means he had decided learning swimming there was a pool at the ymca ymca pool was located over there uh in yakima it means on the bank of yakima river that offered exactly the opportunity opportunity means that was offering the opportunity that was attracting the writer that come and join me why mca pool was attracting the boy and he got mesmerized towards it so the yakima river was treacherous treacherous means dangerous the yakima river was treacherous mother when he went to ask when when he went to his mother for seeking permission the mother continually continually means that he was having a fear okay by putting the emphasis on that he she was putting emphasis no need to go whenever you see something number one you are telling something simply other thing whenever you are telling by putting more emphasis so this is like emphasis that she did not want allow her son to pay a visit to the yakima river mother continually warned against it and kept fresh in my mind the details of each drowning in the river means that she was telling me about the depiction about the stories of so many people those had lost their lives by drowning into the deep water of yakima river but why mca pool was safe why it was safe because it was on the bank of yakima river it is it was out of river it was only 2 or 3 feet deep in the shallow end i told you one shallow end it was having the depth of merely 2 or 3 feet other end was having the depth of more than 9 feet and while it was 9 feet at the other corner one corner was having the depth of 2 and 3 feet other corner was having the depth of more than 9 feet the drop was gradual it i got a pair of water wings means swimming costumes he had got and went to the pool it means he had joined finally ymca pool which was located on the bank of the river yakima so boys for today itself i think it's more than enough and uh, whatever i have taught you i may ask you by telephonically calling any one of you randomly so please must pay attention towards your study clear and if you have any query with respect to the content of the matter so please send your queries on whatsapp number in the group in which you have already been added if you face any kind of problem clear so i hope that you might have enjoyed the first part of this chapter and uh, very soon we are going to upload the second part of it so keep in touch with us do study at your home rest of all thing live in the hand of god and safe be safe from covid 19 stay back at your home until or unless the schools are going to be open till then thank you have a nice day namaskar once again